today it's the Metro Exodus benchmark. Ah, obviously three major resolutions. You already know them, but 1080p, 440p, and 4K resolutions. And there are a butt-ton of settings in this game. So first there's the quality. I'll be going between extreme, ultra, and high. I won't be touching medium and low as they look pretty terrible, but I would say high, medium, and extreme. I mean high, ultra, and extreme look good. V-Sync I'll be turning off. Motion blur I'll keep off. Ray tracing and DLSS is the settings I will change. Ray tra reflections will stay ray traced as this is a pretty important setting for visuals. VRS will remain off. Hair works on. Advanced physics on. Tessellation on. This field of view. Shading ray will not be changed. Anyways, we are just beginning with no DLSS, ultra everything, extreme, no DLSS at 1080p resolution. Let's go. And we are getting around 70s. I mean, considering this is without DLSS and literally, like, everything is maxed out. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't terrible. Though it is stuttering quite a bit, so maybe I'll have to, like... Yeah, though, 50s in here, wow. Like, this game is intensive. This is a 1080p resolution. Of course, you can turn on DLSS. Which for a minor, minor, minor visual quality decrease will give you way better performance. But if you want to play a whoa, that was a huge stutter. You want to play a native 1080p? Yeah, this card will actually do it fine. You don't need anything more powerful than this, really. 80s here, yeah. The water's looking good, the environment's looking good, everything's looking good. Wow, 50. Yeah, this game is mad intensive. 68. 60s. Yeah, wow, this is... This is the most intensive level in the entire game. 40s here, wow. Wow, this is intensive. Holy damn. Holy hot damn. Wow, yeah, this is very, 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 very intensive. Alright then, I think that's enough for native 1080p. Now let's turn on the DLSS mode to the quality mode. Video DLSS on quality. Yeah, we'll make a small fuss. But now we have DLSS on quality and it's still dropping into the 50s even with quality. I don't know why the GP power is not going up to 250 watts that it can actually be fully utilized. But yeah, it's a far more consistent experience with DLSS on quality. Yeah, around 80s here, so it's far better and far more consistent. Because in this area we're getting 40s, now we're getting only slight drops into the 50s. So yeah, here 80s, 90s. Yeah, in this area we're getting around 60s, so we're getting 80s now. So it's a much better, much more consistent experience. And it looks basically identical, though using a 4K monitor. So 1080p already looks solved. This doesn't look different. Damn, that's a pretty sexy girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. No need to be like that, man. No need to be like that. But anyways, yeah. So DLSS on quality is a far better, more consistent experience. Not gonna test it anymore. Now, let's drop the DLSS and just turn it on to native. Turn down the quality to ultra and turn down the ray tracing to high. I'll end the recording. I make a new one, but it'll be the same video. So let's go. This is now ultra settings, 1080p ultra, not extreme with high ray tracing. No DLSS, still ray trace, still the same other settings, just ultra instead of extreme, and high instead of ultra ray tracing. And yeah, we are getting way higher FPS. And this is without DLSS, so we're getting up brown, 
We're actually getting higher FPS than extreme and DLSS on quality, and it doesn't really look worse. Ultra still looks great. Can't really tell many differences. I think the shadows on extreme were slightly better, but other than that, the game's pretty much looking the same. And we're getting way higher FPS, so Ultra is much better than Extreme in this game. Extreme is basically a benchmarking mode. Yet I still run it because I'm a, I'm a weird guy, but anyways. Yeah! 88 FPS, I think before we were getting like way higher FPS. Recounting, it's stuttering hard for some reason, I don't know why. Damn, RAM usage is 14 gigabytes, what the hell? I mean, it's not maxing out my 16 gigs, but maybe that's actually why it's stuttering. Wow, yeah, what the hell's going on? Why is RAM usage so high at 14 gigs? Maybe because it has to load all the assets, but this game is memory hungry, that's for sure. VRAM, not so much. Well, it's using 6 gigabytes at 1080p, so... Okay, then, let's shut it off and let's turn on the DLSS. DLSS us on the quality mode. Let's go. Okay, DLSS us on quality, and we're getting a small FPS boost. Oh, actually, we're getting a fairly large FPS boost. Okay, can I... Why can't I then move? Because I freaking grabbed on Twitch here. Like, come on, man. Why is it stuttering? Like, this game has stuttering problems. Might be because of the RAM, but I don't see how this game can use that much damn RAM. Like, wait, if I restart, yeah, it's still doing the same shit. Okay, not anymore. It's smooth now. Okay, yeah, never mind. Damn, but yeah, it's getting 130 FPS. This is a higher refresh rate than DP experience. Here, 70. Yeah, so still above 60 FPS all of the time, which is pretty much what you want in a game like Metro Exodus. And now, let's... Now, let's turn off the DLSS. Change the ray tracing to normal, and change the quality to high. Alright then, we are back at the 1080p resolution, still the same, high. High quality with normal ray tracing. Same settings, no DLSS, and let's go. Yeah, 100. It's still stuttering, which is... Ah, why is it still stuttering, man? Oh my god, why? <sighs> yeah, well, this is definitely a higher pressure experience. If you couldn't count, you know, the previous one, a higher pressure experience. But still, it's dropping into the 80s. Like, even with high settings at 1080p with normal ray tracing. This game is extremely demanding, man. Also, not very consistent with the frame rate. Look over there, 80. Look over there, 140. So, yeah, it's pretty inconsistent. Some years you're getting two, probably 150. Some you'd be getting like 70. Yeah, this game is extremely intense. So yeah, these are not bad settings to play on. I'm not 117 FPS on average. Now let's test with the DLSS on the quality mode. Yeah, DLSS quality. Let it do its thing. Okay, good. Yeah, 140 here. Now, this is the true higher refresh rate experience. I know I've been repeating higher refresh rate experience, but this is the actual higher refresh rate because it's getting 160s. It's still dropping into the low 100s, though. It's going to drop into the 90s in the other area. Like, watch it. Yep. Yep. It still drops 90s here. I don't know why this is and it's still stuttering like hell. Yep. Yep, there it goes this area for some maybe it's because like all of the if i stare into the, that makes no sense well anyways yeah this is a great and it's stuttering so badly like that's what makes this game like really hard to run is the fact that maybe you don't have 16 gigs of ram isn't enough but it's not even maxing out the ram i think that's something to do with the game but yeah this is a great higher fresh rate experience 
Now let's go to 1440p extreme. So I'm gonna be doing that. 1440p extreme graphics. This is native resolution 1440p. Ultra ray traced and. Mm, mm, yeah, this is not playable. 1440p with native resolution, at least with no DLSS is too much for this card in this game which i guess makes sense because it's using ultra ray tracing with ray trace reflections and he's running on native 440p but it's still kind of playable like oh except of course for the stuttering issues i don't know why this game stutters so bad maybe it's because of hair works yeah 60s at times but then you turn around and you get 40s so this game is very inconsistent when it comes to performance like in this area it's going to drop into the 30s yeah, but it's still playable, even at these settings, it's still, it's still playable, I could still play the game like this, of course not ideal, but, yeah, I'm not gonna really play around with this anymore. On the other hand, DLSS quality, let's see how that will do if I turn it up to DLSS on the quality mode, quality, let us do a thing, it's gonna flicker, I don't know why it does that, but okay, now, and now it gets 70s. Yeah, this is where DLSS really comes in, higher resolutions. I went from 50 in that scene to 70. Yeah, and it looks pretty much identical, or at least not a major difference. And yeah, it's still, it's still gonna drop into the 50s, but at least, at least this is a far better, more consistent experience. What the hell is this chair? Can you shut up, chair? Shut up, I'm telling a chair to shut up. No, I should shut up. <laughs> Yeah, still dropping to the 60s here, into this house. Well, this game looks very good, though, not gonna lie. Well, of course it does, but the performance is pretty extreme. You need a very high end PC to run this game. Well, you need an RTX graphic card to run this version of the game. Whoa, still dropping into the high 40s. Still perfectly playable. Like, this is a much better experience. Then 1080p. Now let's try balance the LSS because balance the LSS works well for 440p though it's above 60 FPS on average at least. But it did drop into the high 40s, so balanced should help it be 60 FPS plus experience. Balance. Yep. We gain around 10 FPS from quality moving to balance in that scene. So that should help us maintain 60 FPS, or at least well most of the time it's still gonna drop in that area which is for some reason it still drops here um um well the game has smoothed out now maybe i just needed to run around the area multiple times <laughs> oh my god man i'm just doing the same thing because it's an easy way to benchmark I've already played this level, I don't want to spoil anything, it's just a benchmark. This is one of the most intensive areas in the game, so it's practically a worst case scenario. In this area, low 50s, not bad. Better than the high to mid 40s you're getting with quality, but the game is looking softer with balance compared to quality. Like, you see that gun? M my, not my gun, my, my, my bow is looking a bit... Like, yeah, I mean, it's not a bow. I don't know what this thing's called, but it's shimmering a little bit. So it's perfectly playable. We gained around 10% on average performance, which isn't terrible compared to quality. But now, let's move to Ultra. I'm going to ray tracing on high and quality DLSS. Because I'm not testing native at 440p because it's clearly... No, I actually will. Yeah. See if it might be playable on native resolution, but it probably won't be at these settings. Maybe on high, but let's see. Resolution with high rate with high ray tracing, ray trace reflections as always. And ultra settings at 440p, 60s. Wow, that's really nice. Of course, it's still stuttering for some reason, but wow. At least inside 60s, outside it'll probably drop. No, still, yep, yeah. 70s, 80s, 80s, wow, 80s here, but this, if you turn around, wow, fifth, low 50s, mid fit. wow, it'll probably drop into the 40s here, no, wow. 
This is native 1440p at ultra settings, so you can definitely play the game like this. Still looks great at 1440p, like wow. This is very, very impressive performance. I think I know why it's stuttering, because of the fact that I have hairworks enabled and there are crows, so I was rather the crow's feathers. And the crows are constantly flying around, but that's probably why it's stuttering. But hairworks is nice and looks good, but yeah, you have to deal with occasional stuttering problems like that. Yeah, oof. Because of the damn crows. Because of the damn crows, man. The damn freaking crows are causing stuttering. I'm gonna shoot a crow. I killed a crow! Where did the crow go? Damn, I actually killed a crow. Okay. Now let's go to DLSS on the quality mode and see how much that helps. Okay, let it do its thing. And, yeah, 90s. Wow. This is great for 440p with the 3060 Ti. Perfectly playable experience. 80s here. Yeah, this is just great. This is great, man. Like, wow. Here, not dropping. Yep. Yep, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine experience in this house. Yep, also not dropping. Nice. Perfect. Nice. This is freaking great, man. Okay, why am I stuck in this? 100 FPS at times. But then I turn around and get 70. But still... 70 perfectly playable and this it might drop into the 60s wow it's not dropping from 60 this is an awesome 1440p experience i could definitely definitely play the game like this is just incredible okay then we had enough never drop from 60 but even still let's drop dlss and go to native resolution again normal ray tracing of high settings. So let's see, 440p high settings with normal ray tracing, no DLSS. Let's see if it can manage it, a native. Which I think it should be able to. Let's find out. Then, 440p, high settings, normal ray tracing. Let's go. And yeah, 70s. Will it draw from 60? 1440p high settings, normal ray tracing, 3060 Ti. It still has ray tracing, so it's not completely disabled. Normal ray tracing does not disable ray tracing, it's still on normal. So you're still getting that global illumination and I have ray trace reflections on as you can see in the menu ray trace reflections oh yeah I think with high settings it actually disables them well you're not okay never mind you're not getting ray trace reflections with high but this game still looks great and you think you're above 60 FPS even a native yeah doesn't drop here Perfect, flawless experience at 1440p high settings. Normal ray tracing with a 3060 Ti. And this is native res, so this is a flawless, flawless experience. Never drops from 60. The 48 FPS 1% of those come from the stuttering, so yeah, due to hair works. Should probably disable hair works, but eh, maybe I will, but I'll just deal with the stuttering. It's not that annoying. And you see, sometimes it doesn't stutter. Now, I don't want to kill a crow again. I already killed one. <laughs> Alright then, let's turn on some DLSS and see if DLSS can make this a higher pressure experience. Let's see. Let it do its thing. Black screen. Well, for it's just going to, you know, menu, but... Wow, 110 FPS. This is a higher pressure 440p experience. Which is great to see with a 3060 Ti. Although, I'm not sure how much a higher pressure experience is actually needed in this game because it's a single player title, but it never hurts to get some extra frames. And the game still looks great at 440p high. The quality isn't even that much worse compared to ultra or extreme. I can hardly tell a difference, so this is great. This is a freaking awesome experience. Here, it's going to drop into the 80s. Yeah, still perfectly fine. It's around 100 F 112 FPS on average, so 440p high refresh rate. Is definitely possible like this. So you're not getting that 120 or 144 FPS all of the time, but it's still perfectly playable. Okay then, let's go to 4K now. 4K with extreme. I'm not gonna like this. With 
No DLSS and ultra settings. Alright then. Issue with 4K in this game. Because power usage isn't maxed out. And just look at this. It is getting teens, which it should not be getting this low. You see the power usage only 180 watts when the GPU... See, if I actually go up to a wall, the power usage increases by a lot and it goes up to the 20s. But if I just walk around, the power usage goes back down. So I'm going to need to fully restart the game. Because currently, this is just absurdly low FPS, even at 4K. Yeah, this is without DLSS at 4K maxed out. And this is with basically path traced. So of course it would get 13 FPS, but it shouldn't get there. It's not really, it should get around 20s to 30s. It should not get 13. Well, anyways, I hope that addresses it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come back and retest 4K. We restarted the game and now 4K shouldn't be an issue because 4K Extreme Ultra, yeah, it's still at insanely low FPS, basically maxed out. The game is maxed out, no DLSS, 4K. But it was getting teens before and now, as I said, it's getting 20s to 30s, which is a more appropriate frame rate for the 3060. As you can see, power usage is 200, around 250 watts, which should be what this GPU can be capable of once overclocked to achieve its clock speeds. But... What the hell was that? Okay, for some reason Discord is doing that. I don't know why. Um, probably messages, but anyways. Okay, what the hell? Can you shut up, please? Thank you. Okay, um... Damn, yeah, okay, 20s, this is not playable. It's probably gonna drop... Let's just see if it drops into the teens here. Nope, okay, 24. So you want that cinematic 24 FPS plus experience? This is great. Okay, I'm just kidding. It sometimes reaches 30, but then, yeah. Nope. Nope, 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 not playable. Let's go to the quality mode. See if that improves things, which it definitely will. And it's getting 40s. Yep. This is not playable. Compared to the unplayable mess that was 4K with no DLSS. And the game looks pretty much identical. So that's DLSS for you. Pretty much free performance. Was, although it still drops into the 30s. So it might drop from 30. But at least it won't drop. Yeah. So it's not dropping. It's not dropping. Yep. Okay. So 40s inside. Let's see if it drops into the 30s. Yeah, I mean, 20s. No! 32 is the minimum. 32. Above 30 FPS, perfectly playable. We would actually play the game like this, because single player title. I haven't went to this area before, but yeah. FPS don't really drop too much here. 33. Yep, so that's the minimum. Look at this area, 34. But look at this area, 40. Yeah! About 30 to 40 frames per second. Very playable experience. That's all. Now, let's go to performance DLSS, which will really increase the performance and help us get near 60 FPS, or at least I hope it will. Yep. Yep, around 60, 50s. Now, this is actually really playable. And the game looks almost identical to 4K native. It doesn't look as good as quality or 4K native. But it's getting way higher performance, like, yeah, it still drops into the 40s, might even into the 30s at times, but it's a far more consistent, better experience with 50 FPS, which feels way more responsive compared to 40. It's not 60, but it's damn close. And recording might also take away a few FPS, so yeah, in this room, 40s, yep, still perfectly playable. Running around, 40s, yeah, very playable. Here is dropping into the 50s, and here is dropping into the high 30s, which is still very playable. This is a great, great experience if you don't need 60 FPS. If you just want that 4K max visual fidelity experience, which I am personally for. I love 4K max settings. They just look astonishingly good. But 
if you yeah even here it reaches 60 but if you need 60 fps this is not good because it still doesn't hit 60 fps but for me it's very smooth but let's see now how it does at quality dlss or actually dlss off because just for the giggles at ultra settings with high ray tracing with still ray trace reflections let's see how a demo does. Porque with no DLSS, this time with ultra settings and high ray tracing instead of extreme settings and high ultra ray tracing. And this is actually above 30 FPS when it was consistently below 30. With, wow, this is very playable. This gives me good hopes for 4K with performance DLSS. And it's looking like pretty much no noticeably worse, so yeah. This is basically the ultimate settings in this game. Well, not this, but what's coming up, because, <laughs> at least for me, at least if someone who plays at 4K, if you play at 440p, check those, but yeah. Okay, it does still drop into the 20s, but high 20s, so if you're okay, with... yeah, but no one should really play like this, because DLSS can easily provide a much higher fidelity experience for basically no performance hit. So this is still largely playable but not ideal because it's 30 frames per second most of the time so let's go to the dlss on the quality mode and see how it does that at the quality dlss 50s this is the same as performance actually slightly higher than with extreme and perform no this is around the same so if so this gives me good hopes for extreme or sorry the, these settings with ultra or with performance DLSS, not by not ultra performance DLSS. I'm not testing it because it looks like absolute garbage. And no one should play like that. So yeah, this is around the same FPS as 4K Extreme with Ultra Ray Tracing and Performance DLSS. So this gives me good hopes for performance, as I said. Dropping into the low 40s, yeah. And it's actually slightly higher than... Yeah, the, I think the average is like 51, that's 54, so it's yeah, around 3 FPS higher, but it's largely the same thing. 60s looking there, but then when I look here, 50s, 40s. So yeah, let's try out performance. Performance should be good. Yep. Wow, 60. This is the experience. 70, 80s there, wow. This is at 4K. High is gonna be even better, probably. Okay, it's still stuttering like hell, but wow, 60s. It's probably still gonna drop into the 50s in some areas, but this is a great. This is an awesome experience. This is probably how I would play this game personally, because performance DLSS looks pretty much no better. I mean, no worse. It's not supposed to look better, but wow. Okay, so it's 50. Yeah, 50s. Yeah, high 50s. Still no big deal at all, obviously here mid 50s yeah it's still perfectly playable like this is a perfectly playable and nice experience in this game it's perfect 67 fps and this is at 4k resolution like this is insane dlss is truly truly a remarkable and excellent feature okay now i'm going to be changing it to no not not i'm not changing controls high with normal and no DLSS this time. Let's see how it does. 4K resolution, 50s, that's a great sign. With normal ray tracing, ray trace reflections are disabled, and high settings at 4K and 50s. This is great for native 4K. This is really good. Because ray tracing is still enabled, as I said, on normal. So this is absolutely all amazing performance at native 4K resolution. It's running ray tracing at playable performance. And high settings still look great. Like high settings, like probably couldn't even tell the difference between ultra and extreme. This game is absolutely gorgeous regardless of which settings you use. I would say that this actually still isn't great experience, but it's honestly honestly a really really darn good experience for sure okay so 
So now, let's turn on the some DLSS. So on quality. And would you look at that? 60s. So this is the same as Ultra with high ray tracing on performance. Which is just awesome. The game is still looking good. Still damn smooth. It's just a wonderful, wonderful experience. Like This is just amazing. The game still looks amazing with these settings. Just a wonderful experience with this. Extreme isn't even worth it because Extreme doesn't look better than Ultra. And Ultra doesn't look better than High. I would personally put this game at either Ultra or High. Probably Ultra because I want slightly higher visual quality and Ultra does provide that. Dropping into the 50s, no big deal. Perfect, flawless experience. But, for that 4K 144Hz monitor, if you have that for some reason, which I don't think you should, Max this should be 4K 60 or 4K 144 or for a 1080p 240 or 360, but then you shouldn't be playing games like this if you have that monitor. But, okay, let's see if you have that 4K 144Hz. If you can run the game at one and around 100 FPS or higher at 4K with these graphics, so let's try performance DLSS. And at performance DLSS, we are getting 80s, so still not quite 100. Okay, 90s would be 9500, almost touching 100. Yeah, not a high refresh rate experience, still, but still gonna be smoother than 60 FPS. And the game is still looking good, as I said before, because same high graphics the funny thing is that at 4k with high with performance and normal it's running better than native 1080p with extreme and ultra that's just funny to me because resolution doesn't even play a big part it's mostly which dlss and quality mode you use so if you want to max out 1080p you still need the same gpu as to max out 4k with dlss which is kind of funny so yeah, it's around an 80. It never drops from 60. Like So if you want the ultimate 60 FPS plus experience at literally all times, like if you can't live with dropping below 60, which I personally can, I wouldn't play it below 60 FPS all the time, but I definitely would mind a few drops into the 60s, especially if the game is looking better, but high is still looking fantastic in this game. Okay, so for fun now, let's try Ultra Performance DLSS which should make the game run at much higher frame rates, but it will look bad, just to let you know. It won't look like native 4K, not even close. It won't look near it. It might look like 1440p or maybe even 1080p. So let's try 110 frames per second. So this is the high refresh rate 4K experience. Okay, but the game is not looking that good anymore. There's a lot of shimmering, artifacting. It still looks very good. Like, it's still surprising that it looks better than 1440p. So if you want 100 FPS at 4K, this is what you're going to need to do. Ultra Performance DLSS with high settings and normal ray tracing. The game still looks great. Of course, it doesn't look as good as 4K Extreme with Performance DLSS, but you're getting a 2 to 5, 2 to 3 times higher frame rate than that. So, is it worth it? Not for me personally. I'd rather play at Ultra settings with Performance. But still, okay, it is dropping into the 80s here. Wow, this area is intensive. I didn't actually go here because the other areas are just as intensive, but maybe I should have. But yeah, so around a 90 to 110 FPS experience, this is the high refresh rate 4K experience. So anyways, that's it guys. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.